Searching for a parking space. It's, uh, it's very, very boring. It is, you know? It's really oh. It's about to get high. I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm And then I have to wait for hours and hours oh. for the show. I like parking in the road very much. What is that? You can just park wherever you want, Hannah. You know? That's so true. Hello, you. All my people up in here with me. Slack off, back to your desk. Win. What do you think? Debs. Good morning. I need the agenda for the meeting. Okay. Dump Josh yet? Oh, good. I've gone to that already. <laughs> you do know that all rugby players are gay, don't you? Yes, that's exactly why I'm going out with him. Well done. Well, good luck. Good observation. Cookie. <laughs> Send the emails. Yes, Other emails come. I'm still working. Breathe and breathe. It's about to get high. It's about to get high. This Gideon Hoffman business with the gambling. You know, these American casinos are only going to play ball yeah. if Gordon Brown yeah, gives them a concessionary tax. Nothing if not original on that one, Felix. Felix, are you responsible yeah, for that splash? That's the of most boring one we've had all year. What do you mean boring? I got a head like a. When the sun's running, as a band. Morning, morning, sir. And then put it in the graveyard. No, but you're also going to put it in the graveyard page. It's the sun. Brilliant. Oh, not you as well. What? Oh, for God's sake. That is the dullest headline I've ever seen in my it's life. It's a 10,000. I'm dealing with the most important election for the last 50 years. You're dealing with the most boring election for 40 years, and you're making it more boring. It's about what's inside. It's not about the headline. The cruise wants to claim Everest now, do you know that? You want an election headline? How about that? Now, there. That's political. My night of lust with Kerry. My night of lust. Kerry's night of lust, yes. Different Kerry, very funny. Trivial, <laughs> Cormac. You know that? Uh, all right, can we go now? Nearly 11. Just frivolous pricks. Disappointing, Felix. What's disappointing? Too close to call. Dear, dear. Scottish twat. God, there's my little bit on the front, eh? Let's go. Really boring, Felix. Too close to call. Debs, put me through to Eddie. I'll put him through for you. One minute. Eddie? Eddie, the chief's on the line. I'm going to put him through. Yeah, I will take a message. No, I think he'll want to take this call. No, you need to take the call. No, I'm in a real rush for the meeting. Here, let me do that. OK, will you distribute all those? Will you... OK. I haven't got time for this. Eddie? Uh, Richard. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, How things? Good. Well, is anything new today? Well, there's all that election stuff, which I'm not looking forward to, but, um... I am so bored with this election. <laughs> I think we all are. It just doesn't sell newspapers, does it? No, but Peter's got this wonderful idea of putting a picture of Bush on the bottom of a bikini. Good, that'll be good. Yeah. The uh, stars and stripes on a nice pair of breasts, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> anything to spice it up a bit. Listen, um... What can I do for you? I've got something... Of personal nature I want to talk to you about. No? Are you sitting down? Well, I am now. Good. <laughs> Eddie, 
Daddy. You repeat after me, would you? Screwing the chairman's wife is not part of my job description. Got that? Sorry, I, I can't hear anything. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> is this a joke? No, no, it, it, it's, it's, not a, it's not a joke, Eddie. Repeat after me. Screwing the chairman's wife. Come on. Screwing the chairman's wife. No, I, I, don't, understand. I don't understand what, what, what I don't understand. Uh, Eddie, we, 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 we're, we're both speaking English here, aren't we? Screwing the chairman's wife is not part of my job description. Are you still there? Screwing the chairman's wife. Screwing the chairman's wife. Is not part of my job description. It's not part of my job description. Thank you. You know, frankly, I'm very hurt by the betrayal. I mean, no, what do you think MJ is? Do you think she's a, a company perk? Now, I'm just going to think about this, and then I'm going to decide what to do. And I suggest you think long and hard about it, too. All right? I'll talk to you later. So, tomorrow. Yeah. Exit polls? Okay, those should be coming in actually throughout the day. Uh, no, not throughout the day. They're not going to start coming. Debs, get me MJ. She's up. right here, M MJ. The computer. All right. Hello? Darling? Hi, love. Uh, will you call me as soon as you get out of the meeting? Okay, will do. Call me as soon as it's over. Uh, yeah, that's what I just said. As soon as you finished. I just said that. Yeah, all right. Okay. Love you. Bye. Uh, Leah, remind me, I have to call Richard as soon as we're out. Yeah, okay. No, as soon as we're out. <laughs> Who's the biggest? Oh, well, Felix, star uh, front of the boot seems to have been about as welcome as a ham sandwich. Look, 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 I'm trying to get you know a you know you know <laughs> <laughs> sports fan, as we now discover. Five to a bed. No, in London. With his banker. German banker. Oh, is that right, like, rhyming couplet? Tick to the Is this a reliable one? And so, uh, but you know what Dunn cruises. Is, uh, we just have to see it. But you know what cruises' know. lawyers are like? Can we hold in the front page? <laughs> what? Right. Morning, all. Ready? Ready? Morning. Right, now. Who are we going to get this week after the monumental <laughs> fuck up that was today's front oh. page? What the fuck were you thinking? Eddie, you've agreed that title. I'm no, 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 sorry. I want it when Bush comes to shove. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, get your Felix, fucking you act form. together. Yeah. I mean, do you have to nanny this paper seven days a week? I'm sorry, Eddie, it was a simple misunderstanding. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, we just need a big, sexy story for tomorrow now. Big, well, non-election splash. What's anybody got? Thought, but Sally, what have you got? I've got Victoria Beckham. She's admitted she can't sing. She jacked it in. Fashion designer now. Thank fuck for that. Thought we'd run some of her new collection, but more importantly, we've got the first pictures of the baby bump. We've got a picture without a poncho. P3 showed it me. Yeah. And you can see it. Okay, you can great. actually see it bulging. Great. For my fashion pages, I've got look like Sienna for a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. And That's I've got a nice new men's thing, a makeover piece. Bit topical, bit light-hearted. Thought we'd start with Bin Laden. Fantastic. To be a little bit topical. Number from bin Laden. <laughs> but he's actually got a lovely little <laughs> face under that yeah. turban yeah. and that beard, yeah. you know. And yeah. Abu Hamza, he's another good-looking fella. Thought we'd have him well, in the week after. Well, that can go on and on. Call it Scrape Your Face. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's got a hook. 
Matt, where are you going from me? Right, the Manchester United Arsenal feud. Van Nistelrooy has got a three match ban. Henri stamped to the Heinze. A bear camp punches Smith. I say, fuck him, let's out the player who are looking Very good. Yeah. Yeah. B3. Yeah, I get two great splash snaps coming off the wire. First one is to do is with the election tomorrow uh, in the States. Right. It's a great photograph of Bush. Well, I want election stuff. No. Okay, but the second one is, I think is more important, it's the three UN abductees in Afghanistan. I've got a photograph of the three of them being held at gunpoint, all three are weeping profusely. Mm -hmm. The Taliban have declared open season and killed 30 aid workers Eddie, so far this lovely. year. If you, yeah. can you yeah. No this? one else has run with it. Jeff, the, the reason nobody's run with it is because uh, Afghan, Iraq, to our readership, very, very interchangeable. We have a readership that confuses Afghanistan and Iraq. So yeah, what, what, what story? We, I, want a story. I think we have a campaign, or a story. We have a campaign. We don't take them to Fallujah. We take them out of the country altogether, and we that. bring them home. Bring the Black Watch leading the British troops en masse, led by the Black Watch Piper, not to Fallujah, but out of Iraq altogether. Pipe them home. Yeah. And we lead them out. The Queen Mother's no longer the uh, Colonel or Chief of the Black Watch, if she ever was one, but, uh, you know, we can get Camilla Parker Bowles. <laughs> <and things like, laughs> <that. laughs> Camilla will be an excellent choice indeed, yeah, uh, yeah. Colonel of the Regiment, and That's indeed, hopefully, like eventually, our Queen. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she's perfect for the job, really. And uh, this Camilla, you know, as Brian Lawson sees her, on a horse, fag in mouth, sexily <laughs> craggy, as she has now become, looking Hulk like Queen Elizabeth yeah. I of Tilbury. And she can move quickly on from being Colonel in Chief to being Queen of this country, eventually getting rid of all that ghastly German blood we no longer want. <laughs> so I propose first Camilla, Colonel in Chief, oh, then Camilla for the Queen. I would like to hey. put that much. Charles can become Prince Reed. God bless yes, all the so how, how close, how ready is that? It's ready to go, okay. but a thousand word piece, and I'm gonna. Okay, but it's not going. <clears throat> okay. I love it. It's yeah. cynical, it's hilarious. Good. Let's not go there, honestly. Let's put a moratorium on all this monarchy bashing. I am fed up, sick, nauseated by well, it. Well, let's just put a moratorium on a monarchy. 70% oh, <laughs> yeah. of the public loves the royal family. Oh, come and on. And here we are bashing them. It's easy Wait, and it's fun. Listen, we're we getting all love royalists are even reading our paper because we are opening up a debate. We can't go back. This is like some mad reaction. We just become like all the other papers. Exactly. This is reactionary bullshit. It's, it's not. I mean, you're, you're saying that the paper is getting old and it's getting stale and we keep running the same thing and I'm giving you no, something. No, I'm saying the election's boring is what I'm saying. Let me tell you a story, okay? Is it a long one? True story. When I was a little girl, my father wakes me up in the middle of the night, like four in the morning, says, MJ, come downstairs, you must see this. We all gather as a family in front of the television to watch the House of Spencer and the House of Windsor Wed. It's the royal wedding. Aww. And we're sitting there with our cocoa. And these are memories that I cherish yeah. as an American. Okay, just come on, come on, you're also gullible. The point is that this monarchy bashing shits on people's enduring memories, and that's the, what you're doing. You're just shitting on them. No, we destroyed Princess Di. We followed her into that tunnel, we snapped our pictures, and we killed her and Dodie. We did it. That is exactly what happened. I'm sorry, sweet, dear American cousins. Hearts as big as houses, but unfortunately handkerchiefs as big as sheets, and you just get <laughs> sentimental about everything. And with Diana, you're elevating a rather deranged kindergarten teacher to the status of Bambi's mother. <laughs> uh, I can say that we are not running a pro-monarchy piece in our paper tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I All think it will be. I mean, the truth is, every time I go past Buckingham Palace, I look and I think, I'm paying for that. Right, I'm fucking allowed in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you prime want real estate or, bang in the centre of London. The it belongs of to the country yeah. that the yeah, country yeah. can't use. Yeah. It should be a shopping centre. Really. <laughs> it's with roller skating ring, guys. Yeah. You get rid of the royalty, you have no England. I mean, Turn that's it into what a backpack. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. do you want? You want yeah. Tony Blair for president? Disneyland. Disneyland. That's a good idea. Super <laughs> casino, a knocking <laughs> shop for the city. You'll never be out of there. Yeah. It's the right shape. It's the right shape for a car phone warehouse. Car phone warehouse. B and B. B and B. B and Q. Soup and Q. Are we finished? I mean, what are we doing right yeah. now? Yeah, right. The <laughs> super port is sitting and waiting for something to happen. Can we wrap up? Any decision? OK, all right. I've got a headline for tomorrow. Tomorrow's flash is going to be bulldoze Buck Palace. All right. <laughs> 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 Camilla in a hard hat. Maybe. We can get the readers to write him with to phone him with their own ideas.
I need a quote from Scott uh, Ritter, Felix, Gary. Do you understand a fucking quote? Is there quote? some so get me a sort of agenda quote. going on here on this let's bulldoze the palace bollocks? This is the busiest news week of the year, but we're running this kind of thing. It could run for Tell two months. It's commercial so, sense, for God's sake. It doesn't make any commercial sense at all. Look, every other paper's speculating their asses off other, about what's happening in the election. Well, it's every other paper doing that because every relief. other paper has to do that. Is this an editor's must or what? It's, it's an editor's. Oh. What are you doing for lunch? Um, nothing. Okay, yeah. Jill is at one o'clock. Right. Thanks. Yeah, lovely. Is that table for two or table for three years? I would imagine it's for two, unless he's inviting the household cavalry. You do know, Felix, that going for a lunch this early in the week yeah. with Eddie very yeah. often leads to a P45 by tea time. Fuck off. Don't want to alarm you in any way whatsoever, but it's happened before. You know that. Right? Debbie, could you yeah. just come over here for a second? Yeah. Debbie, you, yes. Debs, could you just confirm this for me and for Felix that uh, when people are invited for lunch on a Monday, it usually means that they spend the rest of their career at lunching alone. That is a very short list. Is it very short? How short is a short list? It's quite short. I'm not on anyone's blacklist. Felix. Yes? I was thinking Adam for the row piece. He's on it, I told you. You did? Yeah, I told him this morning, like you said. Oh. Thanks. Good. If you're on the show, what is what's going on? What is going on there? Hmm? I don't know. my monarchy piece in tomorrow's paper. Uh, no, I won't. Media manipulation of the monarchy by M.J. Morton. Yes, you will. Now, am, you am I... very dismissive of me in this morning's meeting. Well, it's a very extraordinary... You're denigrating me in front of all our colleagues. Did you enjoy that? No, I didn't enjoy it. I was just doing the job. Don't take it so personally. Well, no, no, everybody's treated exactly the same by me. Hey, you. Hey, you. Uh-oh. You what? just look a little, uh, I don't know, what's up? Do you ever wonder if this is the most sensible thing that we could do? No, it's the least sensible thing we could do. Is that what's on your brain? No, it's dreadful and bad and we must stop. We really can't keep doing it, you know? It's going to end badly. You know that. I'm serious. I can't keep doing this. <sighs> okay. You okay? We really can't. No, I agree. It's crazy. Stop doing that. I'm serious. <laughs> it's... Too. I mean, I'm the one with so much to lose, right? Look, you should just be adult about this. I know. It's so bad. Anderson, remind me, remind me. Back bencher, back smencher, you know. Just the real story there, of course, is Gordon Brown, you know, just a, just holding a out again. What? Something, something going on. What? Something happening. This is such a mistake, and I'm, I'm so, I am sorry. Please don't do that. Please don't give me that fucking bullshit. 
OK, the real story is what? Uh, what that he's, uh, it, he's it's, given it's, us, what, 450 well, casinos? No, not even that. No, as, as Brown is resisting any idea of the Americans having a reduced concessionary tax. Look, you've got to understand that this is the Keep most destructive relationship any boy could ever possibly have, and it's getting worse. We're getting... Next time you want to break up with somebody, yeah. Why don't you do it before you fuck them? Look, it was a mistake, and I... I really am sorry. It's a really lousy thing to say. I know, but I am. I don't know what else to say. September, October, November, five months. No, I'm doing that. June. It doesn't matter how long it is. Look, 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 look. You're blowing this whole thing months. into something that isn't. It was a really nice, really good time. Wait, it was really never all of the fuck. world's great fucking love affairs, was it? I mean, it was lovely. Honestly, but... You know what I mean. Yeah, I think I do. Just flattering you. Don't do this. He wants to hit them for about 40, 50 percent. So it's a sort of stealth yeah. tax, really. Well, Gordon Brown's got to be terribly then... keen. He's not terribly keen on. Hi, my, my. I don't, I'd like to talk to Ed, Eddie about... Where is Eddie? Where is Eddie? Well, that's a golem jowl for the chop, anyway. Just a minute. Yeah, well, I think it's... I think that's that's our angle, is that we go for something that pushes the... Uh, the Presbyterian rectitude against uh, the fly-by-night Las Vegas culture that we're living in. So it's like you're looking for something like cash versus trash or something. Sorry, what was that? Cash. He looks like he's ready for lunch. Fish cloth. Sally Ray. Hmm? Check that out. Ooh. What's all that about? Don't know. Fat boy on I'm sure. The Salome. Cool, Mac. Hello. Little Miss Dolly, just come out of the relaxation, face like thunder. Oh, yeah? Maybe a Botox of slips? <laughs> Any ideas what's going on? OK, I'll find, I'll find that. I'll phone, phone Lucky. Yeah, all right, lovely. Bye. What do you say? He's going to phone Lucky. Lucky's not going to know anything. <laughs> Have you seen Eddie? Oh, she is upset, isn't she? <sighs> what's Eddie done to her? Five percent of the population speak out <laughs> Cormac? So, trouble in paradise, I oh, gather. Yeah, I read that it looks like a man who can't get a raise in any sense of the word. But, uh, <laughs> but listen, listen. 
I'm only the news editor, so don't expect me to know anything. I would suggest you talk to our social secretary, Felix. All right, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Yes, what? Felix, what gives? Okay. If you're wanting a bonkological update, I suggest you go to the chat mail of our less than secret secretary. So, okay. right. Use your mouse, or in your case, your rat. I take you up on that. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You knew about this, didn't you? I know, and I care less. Felix. <laughs> Bloody stupid distraction. My lips. I think it's a great review. I think it's in the wrong place, and I'm surprised. That's all. It's not what I said. You've got I think mail, it's going to come straight to me. This will cheer you up. So we won't be running with it. That's that. Excellent, excellent. She's gone. Another one bites the dust. Ooh, ooh too much detail. <laughs> I've been promoted to a syndrome. Yes, we all know that. How long before he'll come crawling back? Get him on the phone. Straight away. Yeah. So once the bulldozers have pounded Buckingham Palace to dust, and we have instead the Buckingham Complex, we could also mock up some pictures of the royal family in the uniforms and clothes of the roles they might have when the place is a car phone warehouse, for example, or a multi-story car park. So you could have Princess Michael of Kent as a cash-out girl, or <laughs> Prince Edward done up as a construction worker, it's... you know, <laughs> a metal helmet. Felix, it's, it's, it's a, a lovely feature for two days before Christmas, or April Fool's Day, but uh, it, it, as far as the front of the book uh, for tomorrow is we still run something on the election or if we can get some of the killers for this uh, this gay killing on the, on the I, South Bank. I've got a great story for you. There's a chairman of a big national paper whose wife has been having an affair with the editor. Does the, uh, the chairman know that his wife is having an affair with the editor? Oh, yeah. Does the, does the wife know that the chairman is? I don't think so. And how does the uh, chairman know? I don't know. Phone tap? No, I don't think so. Informer? Seems the most likely. Maybe the wife told him? I don't think so. But she might have done it to get the editor's job. Ooh, dear, nah, dear. that's not right. No? No. Seems to me that this editor's got a lot of questions that he needs to find the answers to. So, darling, can we go in? Uh, Shall we? Hey. Yeah, can you get Richard on uh, the phone, please? Sure, uh, but do you want to on video phone? Yep. Because your ex-wife oh, is also on video phone. Christ. Do I need to pass you through to her first? Yeah, you better. I think so. Ciao. Hello. 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 Hello, what do you want? What do you want? Ooh, this is a bad time. What's up with you? Mm -hmm. Nothing, I'm in the middle of a meeting. I'm really busy. Fathers for Justice turned down the application. Well, maybe they did. Uh, what do you need? Come on. I'm offering you a chance to spend more time with your kids. Listen, I thought I was doing every other weekend. How was the arrangement? Well, how about thinking about Thursday night? What is going on there? Thursday what time? Oh, I need to be out the door at 7.30. OK. That's fine. What is wrong? Something happening? No, I'm fine. OK, I'll see you then. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Predictable. <laughs> Sit and wait, watch this space. You done? Yeah. Yep. Can you put the channel on? Yeah. Mm. Two ticks. Okay. Eddie. Yeah, hello. Hi, Richard. What's up? Listen, about this uh, conversation we had on the telephone. 
we had this morning. Now listen, I don't know where you got the story from, but it is absolutely untrue. I have too much respect for you and for the paper and, and for myself and, mm. you know. Oh, he's got to go up and deny it. Debs, right. Um, I need to see tomorrow's splash right away. Okay, okay. I will uh, send that as soon as okay. it's in. He's done. It's there, um, tied up. And... I'm just here about the splash. I know. Debs. I don't care about that. Uh -huh. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Phil. Okay. <laughs> Apart from anything else, I have my family yes. to consider. And a career, Hetty. And you won't be hearing the end of this. Yes. Hello. No, he is pissed off. Very frightening. Oh, Hello. Oh, shit. What? Hello. Hey. Yep. Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Eddie, let me just point out to you that I've always let you have complete editorial freedom. I have never, as a proprietor and an owner of this newspaper, I have never oh, interfered with yeah. policy. Am I correct? You are correct. I am. Thank you. Well, that is about to change. I've been in discussions with this St. James's Palace, His Royal Highness, Prince of Wales. What's he saying? Oh. We're trying to improve public perception. We've been making certain recommendations to him on a private basis. Oh. So it's very hypocritical of me to be making suggestions and recommendations on the one hand, and on the other hand is to have my newspaper, The Rag, castigating the royal family on a daily basis. Now, that has to stop. Now, this is what I want you to do, Eddie. I want you to get Felix, or whoever, to write some leading articles pro-monarchy. What? That's oh. what I want you to do. Oh. I want them to support oh. my recommendations oh. to the prince. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> now, Royal this is not a request, Eddie. This is a requirement. Do I make myself clear? You do make yourself clear. Good. Oh, boy. Uh, bloody Alice oh. the net all over again. Recommendations to the prince. Hell what hath the... no fury, eh? What the fuck what is have you on? done, Eddie? What have you done? <laughs> this is back getting... 30 years. It's going to be like the Express in the 50s. Yeah, after a Duke of Edinburgh award or so. <laughs> this is getting very, very interesting. It's making a lot of sense to something that just happened an hour ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a morning exactly. conference, but for the first time you were at. Hello? Hello, darling. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, I thought you were going to call me after the meeting. Oh, right. Sorry. Are you, are you smoking? Yes. You said you wouldn't have light up before lunch. I know I said that. You said you didn't smoke before lunch. I know I said that, but I'm smoking now. I'm not having anyway, a great day. Did you, uh, did you manage to talk to Eddie about the monarchy thing? He doesn't want to do the piece, all right? You mean you can't talk him around? No, I'm going to. Don't worry, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm working on it. It's just going to take a little while. All right? Well, I, I think you should work on him. Listen, I got a lot Listen, of work to do today, um, so I'm going to hang up, all right? Well, and stop smoking. Mm, all right. Bye-bye. Jesus fucking Christ. Triple F and it's still too small. Can you believe that? Well, really he wanted yeah. some totty in the front page. What's cooking, guys? Uh, Outing hooligan footballers. Am I getting the front page? Of course it's going on the front page. My idea, Doctor. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Bulldoze butt palaces tomorrow's splash. I like this morning. But I fucking love it now! <laughs> Camilla for Queen will do later in the week. Check the cartoon. This is fantastic. Brilliant, eh? Who did this? Jimmy. Really, really. Really. Seen it. I've seen it, yeah. So you've got to run that full page, Eddie. I've got Absolutely. Camilla as well. I've got Foxy Lady. Her head stuck on Heidi Klum in a fox fur bikini. Lovely. The hunt is she on. She loves it. She loves to chase the little orange fuckers. The Look hunt up. is on. Paris Hilton's lips as well. Lovely. The Lovely. hunt is on for the Royals. Love this will be the worst week uh, in their life. Yes. Elizabeth II is Elizabeth the Lost. Well, done. well, we've got their successes, haven't we? Exactly. 
pleasure. Posh and Bex. Fantastic. <laughs> God save our gracious posh. Joe. Long live our noble Bex. <laughs> Listen, you're just going to give me a stack more. Eddie, just check that for page three. Sheila from Sydenham, right up Ooh, your street. Damn it, I could do that. Want some nipple in tomorrow, right? Yeah, OK. Cosmetics, celebrity surgery swap shop. Swap the features about, guess who they are. Lovely. God, does she ever shut up? Come on, let's get a handle on the scandal. The Juice it up. Tala, I'm going to lunch. Or maybe some time. So Morton knows about Eddie and MJ. Of course, I suppose we all guess that. I know all that, but what I want to know is, did Eddie actually fess up? He'd been jacking. He's holding the paper to ransom. He wants us to change policy. He wants us to go pro royal. Yeah, typex on my time. Huh? Look, uh, there's talk of us all going on. Yeah, I'm thinking. Look, it's all we're going for lunch. Oh, oh, go. Bye bye. Oh, Where are we going? Go for lunch. Early lunch. What? Oh, really? Come on. Oh, but, 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 you believe it? That's his latest. It? Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely what he wants. Come on, look at his fucking head. Oh, that's what he's saying. He wants to turn the whole policy of the oh, paper around. It's like the Pope trying to sell Durex at the Vatican. Oh, God, I on. think he wants to lie to me. Eddie, see you over there. Shit, let's take the phone. Come on, Mike. I'm going to go to Gita's. Probably be a couple of hours. So just hold a thought, darling. Sword. Yeah, I was just, I was just going to. Yeah. Where am I? I'm fine. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be the two of us. No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake! Leah, yes, get me Eddie, please. Uh, I don't think he's here. What? Hi, MJ. Debs, get me Eddie right now. No, oh, he's not here, sorry. Yeah, I know he's not here. Where is he? Get him for me. I've no idea. I'm sorry. I think he's off his phone as well. All right, can you get me Felix, please? Uh, you know what? He's not here either. Sorry. Patch me through to his mobile. All the phones are just switched off, I think. All right, what about Lloyd? I see what no one's here. I don't understand this. Where is everybody? Are just, they out together? I don't know. I don't know because got an empty office. I don't understand that All right, either. all right, all right, all right. Debs? Yeah? When Eddie gets in, you have him come see me right away. Yeah, sure. It'll be a couple of hours, I think. All right, thanks very much, Debs. OK, boy. Fuck! Look at it this way, Eddie. You get the push, MJ gets the editorship, and suddenly you've got a royalist rag. I'm pissed off I wasn't heard for that call. You've got to remember with somebody like Morton, Morton. I mean, when they impose their will, they do so for no other reason than to impose yeah, their will. That's, that's yes, but he's never had a record as being a hands-on proprietor before. He's well, never done it. There's no record of him doing that before. And there's obviously no record of him. He changes because he wants to change. Passes because nobody's fucked his wife before. <laughs> <laughs> in PR terms, it's as good to turn a paper round as to sack an editor, a popular editor. He likes you, though, even though yeah. you've fucked his missus. He likes you. But this is a curiously bad, bad, bad time to do it. No, but it's very sexy. It's very sexy to turn a paper round. Sucks. Maybe he wants a gong. It sounds the most plausible thing yes. to me so far. The man right. wants a gong. He could buy him something. I'm sorry, you'll be nice. It would be just too easy for him. We are staying with our policy. Good man. <laughs> Yeah, but no, 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 don't oh, kill it. No, the front page is the splash is bulldozed by the palace. All right. Yeah. No, no. But it doesn't matter what he says. Well, I'll take responsibility for this. I'm the editor. What I say goes. Can, can you okay? Who news this? You take care. Would you? Tell us. I'll get a taxi. Mark, do you want to share a cab? Listen, you penis. Hang on a minute. Yes, I'm going. What are you doing? I'm going south of the river, mate. Do you want a drink? Yeah. Come on in. 
Okay. I don't want to go home yet. I'll look after you. You're all right with me. <laughs> Come on, darling. Let's you. have some more. I don't want to be hush hush. The liar. Who here thinks the rag is the best be paper in the world? It's the best paper in the world. <laughs> oh, he's own, he? Don't fucking start on me, Mister. <laughs> Will he be then if he gets this naughty sir? So Richard Morton, he sounds like a fucking idiot. Sir Dick, Lord God Dick. <clears throat> he's got no class. He's like so nouveau riche, aristocratic. What shit? Are you gonna do if he sacks you? Oh, I don't even know. I haven't even thought about that. No. I'll have to get another job. Cheers. Well, we all will. Right. Fuck! You need to get proper fucked. I, 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 I wanna be hush, 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 hush. Don't wanna be your daddy, little secret. Oh, this is just too much. So even before well, I tell you, Chris Smith, Smith didn't look like a naked cow. I went for one naked cow. Tame and toad wits for Norma. <sighs> Orange juice, black morning. Now this is an all-time favourite. That is pure gold. Beautiful. For the love of God, coffee. Eddie, my feeling is this. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get the sack on this, but you will find though that your autonomy has been seriously curtailed. I think you're right. I think my first thought is you're going to meet a threat with a threat. So we have to get something on Morton. The Not chairman has brought the fight to me. If he's bringing the fight to me, I will take the fight to him. Well, you took the Is fight to him by poking what? the payroll. We have to exactly. ask yourself, do you want to have MJ sitting in my seat? No. no. Do we no. want no. the anti-monarchist no. policies no. turned on their head? We'll not be there to see it. We'll be gone. Do we want no. another generation of princes, no. ponces no. and arch prats no. one in our country? No, we so do not. not. What we want to do is we want to threaten him. We want to scare him. We need a headline and a picture. We need something to yeah. rock yes. Morton's no, world. If you have to make it up. Today's Express, no point in saving for your old age. Now, the one thing that got Maxwell done was the pension scam. Now, unfortunately, it came too late. I think you have to have something sitting there. I think you have the contingency. Yeah. Something you can hold over his head. Something, a human interest story. Child it's porn. Child porn child is sexy. Porn, porn is good. Drugs are sexy. Prostitutes are sexy. Bestiality sex. is sexy. Oh, Best oh. It might be for you, John, but... <laughs> now, regarding the picture, uh, Morph. Who is he? Very, very, very flaky. He does very pictures flaky. for us. He does. You remember the one with Tess Child turned into the Godfather? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he and did that. And the player's face and the horse's head. Let me meet him. Yeah, fine. Let me see what he can do. <laughs> Plan fine. A. That's a good idea. Off. Morph? Who's that? Felix. Fucking hell. Hello, stranger. Hi. Well, we just passed through the neighborhood, we. Can't say I noticed the neighborhood. Can I sit down? I say, who? What, the, what are you here for? Little job. Oh, fuck. You don't like you'd like a job. Or am I just, uh... Come on, Felix, what do you want me to do? Well, it would require very imaginative work. Can I, can I stop you there, Felix? Yeah. I'm going to help you out. What's it going to cost? We get our pictures. Yeah. We're talking about pictures. Plural, not singular. And you get 50,000 pounds. Oh, do I? Mm-hmm. And the rest. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, what? Like, you don't fucking know me? Felix, lovely to see you. I hope you're well. 
And will you fuck off out me out? 60. Two on the shot. 75? 100 grand. 80. I think maybe you should leave now. More for a second. I'm looking around at this breathtaking decor. You're walking away from 50,000 pounds. Well, this one's going to cost you 100,000 pounds. But because we're friends, I am going to offer you 60,000 pounds. Um, 100,000 pounds. Oh, you're taking a piss, aren't you? <laughs> I might be. There's no way we're going to pay you 100,000 pounds. Well, hey, listen, whoever it is this person you want fitting up, it must be pretty desperate, otherwise you wouldn't come to me. You wouldn't show your face around my house. They should have very good reason. Come on, must be worth hundred thousand pounds. I would go for seventy-five thousand pounds, ten thousand pounds cash in advance. What do you, what do you say to that? That's, that we're up to eighty-five thousand pounds now. That's I like that figure, but pounds. you know what? There's a figure I like more. Ninety-five thousand. What about ninety? Deal. And this will help you run around. Where am I going for this? Fucking George Boss's arsehole, for fuck's sake. Mm. More than fucking generous, isn't it? I couldn't remember exactly what you took, so I got a bit of everything. So it's a sort of lucky bag. Sort of Kellogg's variety. It's touching to see someone who takes such good care of their friends. There you go. You are a fucking corker. What a lovely surprise. What can I do for you? thought if I camped out in your office long enough, I might actually get a chance to speak to you. Well, I'm a very busy man. What do you want? Apparently, I've been trying to reach you since lunch yesterday. Debs had no idea where you were. Couldn't get you on your mobile. Where were you? I had a, a, a lunch meeting with the boys yesterday. There's a scandal brewing. We needed to thrash it through. Really? Well, tell me all. <laughs> I'd love to do it, but it's too hot even for you right now. Felix was with you too. Mm hmm. All the boys were there. Everyone was there. That boy was there. And Lloyd? Lloyd was there. What about Sally? Sally was there too. She's one of the boys. She is one of the boys. But I'm not one of the boys. You are the deputy editor. And as deputy editor, I need to be able to reach the editor. I need to reach you last night with the yeah, election. I'm and there's being something I want to talk to you about. Yeah. Did you get my message about the rogue thing? No, I didn't. No, I was. Uh... So your mobile's not giving you your messages now either? I didn't pick them up. I'm sorry. That's all right. Where were you? <laughs> I had a, 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 a fashion meeting. Oh, great. This is about Richard, is that what this is about? Did he call you? Does he know about us? Did he threaten you? Did you tell him anything? Did I tell Richard about us? Are you out of your fucking mind? Is this the sort of thing you discuss in your relationship? No, Eddie. I prepared a piece for tomorrow's paper. I expect you to run it. Appreciate it. Oh, well, your timing is impeccable. Timing's everything when your job's on the line. You just take this off. Pictures. Okay. You happy? You ready? You just twist lightly to your right. Like, oh, yeah. And again, bringing your arms down slowly, yeah? Like, yeah. Behind your back. And that's, that's the one. That's it. Just take a meter reading from you, could I? Yeah. Yeah. Long body, tall, yeah? yeah. Of course you did that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. What I've just done is a page three photograph. What I've just done. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. Yeah, I've got a clue. What have you done? Yeah, I've got a clue. What have you done? We did a lot in Northern Ireland together, you know. 
He was a real grafter. Good. And if he couldn't find what he wanted at first, or second, he'd, um... He'd be creative. Uh, how? He'd make it up. Morph it up. Well, look, we need something that's just going to absolutely yeah, destroy him. Yeah. We do. Maximum impact. Exactly. So it's one of the big three, isn't it? Uh, fraud. Take too long. Doesn't run. No, too long. Sex scandal. Everybody's having sex everywhere. Exactly. Nothing. No. It's just got to be drugs, isn't it? Drugs. Yeah. And we go right for it, you know, heroin. <laughs> Class A. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of it. You know, and it's not unusual, <laughs> is it? I mean, Goldman Sachs, you know, Reuters. There's plenty of it about. Richard Morton is shooting up. Yeah. Morton does the hoagie cokey. I just love the picture of that. I, yeah, yeah. I love that. It's got the nostrils for us. <laughs> it could take half a bag up in a go. Right, do you want to see him? Yeah, let's go see him. Oh, what do you got yeah, for yes. us? Yes. Morph. Oh. Hello, I'm Eddie. Oh, yeah. You got a real name? No. <laughs> Not one he admits to. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, oh, yeah. he's got something special. Just watch this for 30 seconds. On the left, I you... when I was sitting there with the photographs and sure. whatever else, and sure. that I'm assuming that's not the reason why you brought me in here. No, it isn't. <laughs> You're a smart man. Aren't I you? am. So, we need a quick word. Just your ticks. Stay right with me. Just a minute. Cloak and dagger, you know. What are they cooking up for you, Mark? Oh, secrets and lies. Yeah. I'm bored of them all. Who's new? It's obviously very really good. Yes, I told you it was good. I need a guarantee right. that he's going to leave absolutely no trail between us. Look, he is completely untraceable, all okay, right? Let's do you trust him? Look at my eyes. Do you trust him? Eddie, I trust him. 110%. Eddie, yeah. I trust him. Good, go and get him. Right. This skating on very thin ice here will be very close to criminal activity, as so you keep her nose clean, even if morphed. Yeah, well, I'm all out of options. Okay, come okay. on. Right, come oi, oi, Savaloy. What are you doing in my bit of the office? Do you know Morph, Sally? Yeah, I do. He's a dodgy bloody bastard. What do you want to know? Just don't get competitive about money. I'm a girl, so that's uh, a bros for you. Go and have some lunch or whatever it is you eat, yeah? Fucking Penny Bazaar, them all over the place, right? Oh, Christ, why me? Right, Morph, the brief. <coughs> We've been conducting an investigation on the Morton household and we need a little bit more evidence along the chemical route, if you follow me. Yes? I see. Really? Now, the thing is, this has to happen very quickly. 24 hours, <laughs> ideally, 48 hours at the outside. Yeah? Fine. Easy. <clears throat> Except for, well, three things. One, the money I was promised. I want the money I was promised. You'll get the money, Eddie, yes? Yeah, of course. Two, uh, the stuff you gave me yesterday is gone, so it needs to be replacing. It needs more drugs. Yes. Double the budget. Yes. And, uh, well, thirdly, or was it fourthly, and more importantly... Thirdly. There's no time. There's absolutely no time at all. If you want to do this in 24 hours, usually I'd spend at least a week getting ready. You know, so this can't do this in a long lens. He's on the top floor. There's no way. So I need access and I need a reason. I need a cover story. I need a, uh, you know, a whole alias. thing. Alias. To get into the building and to be in the building and for a reasonable amount of time so I can actually do the job that you want me to do. Uh, right. A reason to be there. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, come on, what? <laughs> Chauffeur. Brem J. Hmm? How's that gonna work? And a sort of general dog's body. Shopping. She does a lot of that. It's just someone to look after. I mean, she's always she's never in the fucking office. She's always down the car pound, getting a car and climbing. Right, right, right. Well, I've got lots to do then. Do you know how it work, Morph? Well, I, okay, what can I say? I can't give any promises, but no. I can, I can, now, straight away, I'm thinking, yeah, there's a possibility. If she's, you know, if she's one of them, like you're saying, she, I don't know the woman, but if she's one of them, kind of she's always shopping, always doing this, that, and there's always in and out of the house, yeah, I, yeah it's possible. I'll sort you can have a snoop around, around can you? Oh, I can certainly have a snoop around. Let's get a bundle of money. Yeah. Come on. Come, Come on, Morph, you need to get I'm late. I'm writing something. Can you drive, darling? I'm a crazy fucked up bastard. What am I doing? I once drove, um... It could be fine, Eddie. Sherlock Holmes. I'm more of a poet now, really. I spent my time writing... He's a cookie, isn't he? He is. Out of fright. <laughs> Thank you.
full. Can't go that way. I should, I should do it this way. I'm going the wrong way. How many times? Drive, drive. What you do, you don't drive. What's a fucking wall? Listen to me. Um, the pharmacy is not going to renew my prescription, so call Dr. Shrebnik. Shrebnik, you can get me a refill if you can. I'm going to Wenge's on Elizabeth Street. You can also go on the internet to drugstore.com and get me the riddle in there. Um, and use the Visa, not the Amex, because I can't fucking focus. All right, huh? thank you very much. Listen, um, I don't want to be bold, but if you're having trouble with that <gasps> pharmaceuticals. You are fabulous. What's your name? Well, um, Morph. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam? Hello? Felix? Yeah. No, Thank I'm in state. Um, all right, let's go to snow in the uh, cabinet. Oh, bollocks. All right. Colin Powell, we know. I know we don't literally know it, but it is a rumor just Where's you, madam? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the patisserie, it's, um, just go straight. I'll, I'll give you directions right. to go. Yes, Felix, it's, it's right here. Um, you know, everything you're saying, Felix, is giving me a headache. Okay, I want you, you to help me through the gym and graphics. Um, hi, you've got some cheese on hold for Morton. Jim, what's our cover? So lay it out for me. Thank you. You got it on the count, right? Thank you. Yeah, give it to me. Thank you. What are the others doing? What's the daily man doing? Let's see, going. that's good. <laughs> Why can't we do something like that? What about the sun? Because I do think I'm to you. Yes, I do. Where to, We're madam? going to the florist. Florist. Um, so you're going to go up the road, yeah. and the next light, you're going to make a right. All right. Um, I'm just following you. Hello? Oh. All right. No one's here. Great. Oh, here. Put that over here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I forgot to get the pate. You want to get the tour? Yeah. The grand tour. I'll show you the best bits first. All right. I'd like to see the best bits first. Morph, right? Yeah. Copy what you want, copy, copy what do you want. Do you have want. any, uh, extra? Yeah, oh, I do, yeah. Anyone seen MJ? Hello? MJ? Hello? Absolute crap. I love it. You're uh, here. Pay a little bit of attention to uh Oh, okay. Thank you. This is just so fucked up. Mm, I have to get downstairs. I don't wanna go. I haven't even called Felix about the election. You got a lot of things to do, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I'll get my stuff. I'll, I'll, hey. I'll, get, I'll get my stuff in there. Well, no, wait, wait. Jeez. Um, I was wondering maybe you'd like to hang out for a little while. No, at your discretion. Really? Um, you know, yeah. I would like that. All right, great. Um, so I'll come visit you. All right, well, I'll just, I'll just keep, keep, I'll just, quite happy. I'll chill out here, yeah? Yeah, save a little for your boss. There you are. Hey. I've been looking all over for you. How's it going? Oh, what a day. Harrods, Fortnum Mason, Wendy's, really? Twigs. Where didn't I go? Wow. But it's a beehive of activity. All for you, Don. I got the uh, protocol list from St. James's Palace. You want to hear the seating arrangements? Shout it out. Well, at the top, the host. That's me. Then on my right, the Prince of Wales' private secretary. Then the Prince of Wales' private secretary's so, guest. Then the secretary of the coming. bursar. Then the hostess, that's uh, you, guys. That's me, me, me. Then on your right, the Prince of Wales business advisor. You're surrounded by the money, darling. I hope so. <laughs> there are strict regulations on conversational content throughout the dinner. No business should be discussed until at least that time. In respect of this, ladies should withdraw 
immediately after the dessert course has been finished. <laughs> what? Yeah, you have to leave. Oh, all right. You're the only woman at the table. You're uh, Great. kidding? They expect you to leave? There is to be no mention hey, of any Felix, deaths, Felix, for this kind of economic or How's it going? How's it going? Listen, I was just on the blogs and... It's um, all right. Just give here. Give me some. There were people in Ohio well, waiting for 10 the hours to vote. Any pets must be kept under right, control right. or out of sight at all times. Ciao. Well, there goes the goldfish. <laughs> Lady Morton. Huh? Lady Morton. How does it sound? Aren't we all sick and cold? Terrible. I've always liked a you know, proper dog, like a pit bull. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think the pit bull is a very charming, loyal, <laughs> sweet dog. It's the so owners sure. that's the problem. Absolutely. As always. Mm, gentlemen, I've just been alerted. Our dinner is ready. <laughs> so we can all take our places. Thank you. It's a pity about the fox hunting, huh? Yes, oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. <clears throat> well, bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Listen up. We're here tonight because of a newspaper owned by my husband. Mm. And I don't want to tell tales <laughs> out of school, but I think I should tell you in this context that this newspaper is soon to have a new editor-in-chief. Oh, good. Well. And this should go no further than this room. And it's me. <laughs> so I think I, I only mention this, that when I say this is the editorial policy of the rag. You know you can take that to the bank. Good, 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 good. The buck stops here. So, under my watch, you're going to support the institution of monarchy. Yeah. All the way, support the monarchy. Yeah. Winston Churchill said, um, it is the central link claiming our allegiance to death. I may be paraphrasing a bit, but yeah. uh, something to that effect. Mm. I mean, of course, you know, if Edward hadn't married that actress, well... <clears throat> Darling, I mean, let's talk business after dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our protocol, mm. I know, I know. But we do love the monarchy, Richard and I. We, you know, we practically eat it for breakfast, but we don't shit on it, not in this household. And that's what I'm saying. You don't, you don't just, you know... Flush a hundred years um, down the toilet. Not on my watch. Not while I'm editor in chief. Follow the money. Because at the end of the day, it's almost always about the money, gentlemen. I mean, when you think about the EMU, all those in favor say aye. Well, that's my point, isn't it? It's controversial. But when we take a stand at the RAG, we take a principled stand. It's not a popularity contest. Is we don't really have a red state, blue state, do we? As far as I'm concerned, no. The red states can go fuck themselves. They're the ones who are always complaining about the federal income tax, and they pay the least of it. 
If you want to know the truth, it's the blue states. Easily, nine out of ten of the blue states pay the most income tax, and yet they don't want to pay it, but they get it. That's where our, the income tax goes, is to the red states. And I believe, in my opinion, it would be a good thing, not just for labor, but for both, labor and, you know, so on balance, a good thing. We don't have to worry about the Christian right here. You know, in, in my country, those are the people that wouldn't vote for the euro if they could. Of course, I think it's not we've an got some beef Wellington mix. Splendid. Yeah, meow. Mm. On to the beef! <laughs> more divorce in the red states claim to be so moral and if you look at the blue states nine out of ten of the blue states have the least amount of divorce in the nation and the very very least is massachusetts the highest divorce rate in america i don't know if this is interesting to you because of course this is an american too. thank you may i say may i say it was a very disappointing day for me today. We've all been following the election at all, foreign shores and all that. But uh, very disappointing for me. I've sort of lost my appetite even with the chef that we had this evening, so. We'll judge him after we've had the beef wellington. Beef wellington. Twelve countries have already joined the EMU, and soon Poland and Estonia will join up, and then they'll actually exert more influence over the British economy than Britain, you know, and that's just crazy. And I know, I know that you know all this, I'm sorry, I just it wasn't, I wasn't phrasing things properly, but we have got to get our seat on the ECB, it's just ludicrous, and what are we worried about, the loss of power, the loss of sovereignty? I mean, we could still have our bloody picture on the notes. And the thing is, is that we have absolutely no say in anything. And it's just really, I know I didn't phrase it right, but I just think for Her Majesty, because it's the most patriotic thing we can fucking do. And I think in the name of Her Majesty, do you want to talk about something else? I've upset you. Darling, I'm so, I wanted to be so good tonight. My brain just wasn't. Sweetheart. I'll write a letter of apology. How's that, that your wife just has a big, big, stupid mouth? Sorry.
Yes, yes, but Gary, Gary, if you shut your gobby oh, yap, no. then I wouldn't have to tell you this six times. Yeah, Listening? Like a Good. A, I want you like to that. talk to I Edward Van Cutts and Tom right. Parker Bowles and Eddie? find out who is giving drugs to okay, whom, all right? Where's Fat Boy? Is that different? I know, but he's I left the thing about the Van Cutts and the thing on your desk. I thought Felix was doing that. Have you had any success yet? A million and a half hits here on Google, but there's nothing more than apart from what they did, unless you're interested in a few unpaid parking tickets from 1978. We're going to have to make this up, Eddie. Prince Charles and uh, we talked to Morph. Uh, have, you, have, you, have you heard from him yet? Bank cut some wedding on Saturday. Felix. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll have to call you back. Yeah. Have you heard from him yet? Uh, I'm just on to Prince Charles's palace. Have you heard from Morph yet? Uh, no, no, and, and I won't. I, you'll never hear from him for 24, 48 hours. Oh, He's gone on the ground. How much did we pay? Yeah, well, I, I gave him 10,000 quid and I promised him another 80. You what? 80? Yeah, I promised quid. him. Hang on. You I promised what? him another 80, but I'm not going to give him anything like that. I, Gave him another lucky bag full of heroin. Well, and listen, I've got to get in. Make sure you find yes, him. I've got to get in touch with Look, I'll, I'll ring him again, but he will okay. come through. Right, well, he will I'll come through tomorrow. via Bolivia. Oh, somewhere. bollocks. Hello? Yeah. Bye. Right, listen. Yes, I'm terribly sorry about that. Yes. <laughs> Felix Sky. Thank you. Oh, kissy turn. That's very good. Very nice to see you. You ready to hit bars, girls? Yeah. Come on, let's take a bar. You say goodnight to mummy. Yeah. Come on, darling. Yeah. Oh, my dummy, 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 dummy. Say goodnight. Night, night, mummy. Night, night, darling. Night, 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 night. I thought you were going out. Might be. Once a tea. Well, I thought I was over here to babysit. Maybe. I'm so tired from watching the elections all night the other night. I'd rather stay in, because maybe I'd have more fun. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what a bastard. Bush. No, Morton. You haven't got any spare jobs you will pay you, have you? Why? Back an office boy or something. For you? <laughs> Maybe. Have you been given the boot? No, no, I haven't been given the boot. Then what have you been up to? Find anybody. It's been because it's personal. <laughs> Calm down now. Maybe I think I should take you home, Mammy. Yeah? Yeah. Let me just, uh... I just can't stop thinking about it. Well, then, you think about that, and I'll think about getting this home, eh? I don't understand it. <sighs> but the cheat. Ah. Right. Madam, your chariot as you wait. Come on. Let's get you home. There you go, yeah. You lean on me. Fucking liar. Yeah. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. Right. Yeah. Let's be strong and don't be a crier. Watch your head. Oh. Hey. I'm in the back. Oh. Awful. Unspeakable. Yeah, let's go. Take me somewhere. Hey, uh, the fuck are you doing? Yeah, there's, I've got something to show you, but I, and I, I've been driving there around and she's asleep Come now, in. but it's okay, she, but, she, but she doesn't Come want to on. see you. And, I, and, I, and I'm really sorry I'm late, but, um, you know. Uh, Come upstairs. So, what have you got for me, Morse? So, it's all pictures of the pictures. And uh, the pictures were like family portraits, it was like a library. 
imagine with books and everything. And there were pictures everywhere, all the way along the walls, different pictures. Anyway, I thought, I took, took pictures of all of them, but when I got them back here, I thought to myself, that one picture stood out, this picture here. So I took this picture, now I'm going to show it to you. Do you know who that is? That's Morton's first wife. What I do is, it's all a grid system. To the grid I system, and then I can just stretch and distort them to other points it's on the grid. Terrible photo of MJ. Isn't it? They're all terrible photographs. I've never seen these photographs. They're absolutely fucking awful. Now, what I did was, I, by moving key points of the face around, I can manage to go from this face to this face and end up with this face. Amazing. So, what's your point? Well, he's traded her in for a new model. No, wifey point number is, one the point... and wifey number two. That's what they all do. Look what that's the done. point. Chosen a virgin that's 30 or 40 years younger. That's what they all do, isn't it? It's disgusting. But if she would be 30 years older now, Basically, and you would MJ go back is, to the past... young enough to be Morton's daughter. So, <laughs> Morton has married his daughter? Pardon me. No. Has like... Morton married his daughter? It's brilliant. That picture has Morton married his daughter. What, to print it? Front page. <laughs> Mock-up, yeah. send it to him anonymously. Oh, that's just crazy. It's brilliant. It's crazy. He'll fire you. <laughs> Morton marries his daughter. Five oh, pictures oh, me... morphed one to the other. We yes, suggest yes. that Morton actually has married his daughter. And you're going to print it? We're going to print it. You can't print it. Of the course I can. That's the whole point. Is that you have to threaten. I'm going to spike it. I'll be his hero. No, you won't. You still have your muddy little brilliant. paw prints all over it. He'll know it's a scam on your part. Don't be not stupid. Stupid How? like some of Yo, us. It must be room. so fucking brilliant for you. Sometimes being the only person in the world with a fucking brain living in the land in a bozo. So Naive. Fuck you. you never think anything through. You have to keep your fingers clean, keep your fingers so out what's of your it. Idea? You have to come in you're and right, save the day. You need someone else to deliver the slander. Who? You need another yeah. editor. Who? You. So what what? So that you're gonna go to him and say I hate to tell you, but someone's gotta publish it. If we don't, oh I know it's trash, but wait, wait, wait. You're saying that you go to him and say that somebody's got this story that he has married his daughter, and he comes to me and says, your wife has come with this, you are the only person who can control her because she's a mad fucking harridan. And I say, yes, boss, certainly, and I stop. That's quite good. I keep my hands completely clean. Mm-hmm, exactly. You'll be forever in your debt. <laughs> Would you do it? Fuck off. Well, then what is the fucking point in bringing it up? All right, all right, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. But you are going to owe me. To a special for the baby. He's doing the select yeah. panty. Well, we can have Jack Straw with him. Jack Straw is widowed to What's the story about Kevin Spacey? Kevin. Something, something about panty. That's the definition of wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Morph! Eddie. Oh, right. And there you go. That's what you wanted. Lovely. Felix. What? I feel like I owe you an apology. I didn't quite get to do what you asked me to do. You didn't quite get to do. No. These are fantastic. Lovely. They are. He'll tell you. Oh, hey, Willie. Both. Yeah, see you later then. You've got to do that. Yeah. I've got to go drive a car now, so. Oh, oh we'll do like, drive the car. Cast your eyes over these. Four. Yeah. Now, that's uh, Annalise, which is first, first wife. wife. Yeah. On the left, of course. MJ. Mm hmm. On the right. Right. It's okay. Just look at these little sequence of photographs at the bottom. Well, it's the old retread thing, isn't it? Or, you know, the, the new model. I mean, Rod Stewart business, you know, one gets a bit. Rope you round the bumpers, you get a new one in. Yeah, you marry the same one. You think you tried it twice, haven't you, Felix? Yeah. Okay, no. now just, just run, run with this idea. Well, it's, it's, a, just... it's a guy. You just marry somebody who's young enough to be his daughter. There you go. Now, brilliant. Push that a bit harder. Push that a bit harder. That right? idea. Well, you take that, the, obviously, the, 
the furthest way you can put it, and you put it, he marries his own daughter. There you he go. marries his daughter. There's that. This is our inference. With these pictures and the right headline, yeah. we will infer. That he's married his daughter. You, you, you're looking at the guy who marries the girl who is his daughter. There you go. <laughs> it could work. You're serious, aren't you? Oh, yeah. This is a hanging offence if it doesn't work. Well, we have to make it work. Eddie, it's my duty to tell you as a senior editor this is really strong meat. Yeah. You put this in front of Morton, it will go ballistic. You will be sacked, definitely. You and I have gone. Yeah, yeah, because suicide bombs have a habit of blowing up their face. Think yeah. about it. So really how, think how about do, it. How do, how do we play this? We distance ourselves from it. In which way? You know? <clears throat> we get somebody else to present the story. Well, who? Who? Well, the press. All right, so, so Peach is in on this. Yeah. Huh? Oh. So how, 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 See, how See, if we did it, we, we'd just print it and be damned. The press, broadsheets, oh, courtesy. Okay. Give a chance for comment. Exactly. Yeah. Chance um, for comment. And what is his comment likely to be? Well, what would you do if this story came in on your desk and you were Richard Moore? You mean, me personally? Well, if, if that story came in on my desk, I, 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 I'd want it spiked. Yeah. Yes. And, and the best way to get something spiked in the press is and probably by the editor of the rag. It is. <laughs> <laughs> these these are the three yeah. pages that, that, that Peach has, has sent through. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, they're yeah. all good. They're nice. Um, nice. That no. one, Nature of Nepotism, well, it takes I, it right away from what they're going. Too many syllables. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. And this, uh, she married her mother's man? You Still know? on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. That Dolly Parton yeah. song to me. <laughs> no, exactly. No, like, uh, um, I, you know, I deal well. Of, if yeah. I was running this, you know, running I'd have, it, I'd have, yeah, I'd have yeah, but we are picture. not running with this. is just a contingency if I'm sacked. Yeah. But let's just go with this. Keeps it in the family. That's good. That's the best, isn't it? Keeps it, it, in, keeps the it in the family. Keeps it in the family is my choice. Yep. Okay. All right, let's do that one. Hunt that back, don't it? So, the Sunday campaign, what is it? Right, Eddie. Now, I know you said you wanted Camilla for Queen, but we've got such no. a fantastic response to Bulldoze the Palace. No. I think Palace for the yeah. People yeah. has got to leave. It played a blind that I stand correct. I'll tell you what I love about this. This is a big kick in the face to, to, to Richard's knighthood pretensions. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, if he has a problem with that, yeah. and he comes down heavily on me, yeah. I'll give yeah. him Camilla for Queen. Why would you As want to a pro-royal yeah. piece. Yes. Well, why would you want to do that? Because it's lovely, it's beautiful, well, it's both. It's a... It plays both ways. But it's ways. an anti-royal piece. No, 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 it's not. It plays both it's ways. A... You've got Camilla for Queen with it an exclamation mark. It does not play mark. both ways. No, it plays that, put it with a question mark, it's a question. Camilla it's for it's... Queen, how it's... is that anti-royal? Yeah. Because it's ludicrous. It's... She smokes and she hunts and she does all it's... the wrong it's things. It's perfectly <laughs> judged. It's perfectly judged. Oh, it's a piss take. No, it's ruined a very, very good campaign. Let me just throw a word at you that you might find quite useful. Irony. Let me just throw another wee word that might be useful. Salary. So come on, let's get a stone of print. Come on, we'll go to the graphics. Run them both, keep them there, keep them ready. Bloody ruined it. That's Mysteria really suggests that you should be back at the lady. Hi, MJ. Hey, Debs. Hey. I just sent you over my mock up for tomorrow's splash. Uh, oh, yeah, got it, got it. And I can see Eddie's not in his office. Uh, no, down in print and graphics. Can't right. interrupt him, I'm afraid. Well, I've just come back from print and graphics. I need uh. you to go over to Eddie, make sure he sees it and runs with it for tomorrow. OK, as soon as he's back, uh. I'll get that done. Cheers, no, mate. Not. Hello. Oh. Leah, she just fucking hung up on me. What? Deb's hung up on me. Hi, MJ. Hi, Debs. Hey. I wasn't quite done, actually. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wasn't quite finished. Oh, my goodness, I'm so sorry. No worries. Um, the Camilla for Queen campaign. Yeah. I speak with some authority when I say, scrap it. All right? Okie dokie. Send that message over to Eddie as well, and go over to him right now and tell him to look at my front page and run it. Okie dokie. I mean, obviously, I mean, he did say don't interrupt him now, and I can't, because, you know, but the second, literally, it's on. Okay, it's... I understand what he told you. I heard yep. you when you told me that. Uh-huh. I don't give a shit. Okie dokie. Just trot on over. Okay. Right? All right then, mate, we'll do. All right, I'm gonna watch you. You gonna watch me walk over? Yeah. Okay, forgot All I was right. 12. <laughs> Cheers. Great. 
Okay, Leah. Uh, we're gonna watch Debs walk. Oh, yes, she rises, the lovely Debs. Such grace. And take a right. Good girl. Wonderful. So here's the final printout using reader's suggestions. We keep the facade for the nostalgic. There's still quite a lot of that. The rest of the building will be done by Richard Rogers. Uh, we've got swimming pools, libraries, all that kind of thing, walking areas. <laughs> In the middle, we've got a courtyard for, you know, pop concerts, the usual stuff, possibly used part of it for the Olympics. And, of course, eventually over People's Palace. And all of it will be paid by the royal household's income over the course of no more than two years. OK, lovely. Wow. OK, now, listen, yeah. what I'm going to say now is not to leave this room, all right? Now, this is how we're going to play this. Palace for the People goes straight to the chairman for his approval. Yep. If he drags me over to Cons for that, we send Camilla for Queen, OK, which yeah, we're going to sell to me as a pro-monarchy piece. Yeah, which plays beautifully both ways. OK, now, if I still get sacked, keeps it on the family, goes to Peach, we'll then send it to the chairman for his approval as a threat. And what about this? Yeah. MJ's piece. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> fuck. I completely forgot about it. Yeah. Bollocks. You read it yet? Yes. You like it? Yes, I think it's... Great. And he's not running it. What are you talking about? No. He's running Camilla for Queen, what which is in the worst, worst possible taste. Let me talk. Uh huh. There's nothing I can do. He won't take my phone calls. I, he won't. He's over in print and graphics. He's been there for like two hours. He won't fucking call me back. Okay. Now this is okay. 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 So what we'll do is we we'll send MJ's piece to the chairman for his approval. At the last minute, we'll swap it for Palace of the People, which will still go to the printers. Okay. Keeps it in the family. Goes to Peach. We'll then send it on to the chairman, and we've got Camilla for Queen for next weekend if we want it. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, have you got so all that? that? Sounds good. good. The only way I'm going to make any difference at all with Sunday's edition is if you get me in there. You have till five. Well, just go right in. Well, there's absolutely nothing I can do. He won't take my phone calls. So you can just kiss the knighthood goodbye and Lady Morton and all that. So you have till five. I hear you. Okay, good. I love you, too. Bye. You sack of shit. Oh, come and have a look. The rags make their choice. <laughs> have that ready to forward to Morton, should we need to. All right, darling. Hang on, there's more coming through. Palace for the people, what's that? <laughs> oh, no, it says Sunday campaign. Why are you getting this? a bunch of twats. Well, it's a mistake. Stupid. And there is more. <laughs> Camilla for Queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. What about this? It's MJ. What's she up the to? Lady's turn. She's backing more than 100%. Print oh. that one out. I need to read it. Okie dokie. Royal pardon requested by the rag. Leah, what are you doing with photographs? Um, I'm hand carrying them in with the rake of us. There you go. So you're gonna be able to get all of this done? Yes. I think I'll get a jolly good reaction. <laughs> Felix, I've always thought of you as a genius, and if it wasn't for your personal habits, I'd even offer you a job. <laughs> the Richard Rogers element is inspired, and the, the, the people's pool is the master stroke. <laughs> so, Peach, what did you think of Camilla for Queen? Oh, I thought that was truly a piece of wonder. Great. If you could collect all that sarcasm dripping from your voice, you could make a right. lake out of it. You're so fabulous. Hey, it's me. Mm-hmm. Hi. I've got this other idea of making her uh, Governor General of uh, New Zealand. What do you think? <laughs> That's right, darling. Ship her out to the colonies where she's belonged. <laughs> I thought MJ's Peach. piece had Peach. legs. Yes. Listen, darling, I've been, I've been, I've been thinking. It's half past two, Friday afternoon, and I'm still here. I don't think anything is going to happen. I think we were just got so stoned last night. We just went a bit mad. Right. Yeah. It's ready to send. Mhm. Mm it's ready to go. Do it now. Sending it right now. Love you. I love you too.
Nothing's happened. I'm still here. I, I don't think anything is going to happen. We should just stand it down. Oh, I've, I've, look, the truth is, is, I fucked his wife. She got pissed off. Perfectly natural. You'll get me organized, up and running. Organize your stuff. Yeah. That's the bottom of the week. Got two minutes. Hang on, hang on. 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 Hang Just like you always do, you're becoming the old wuss you've always been. No, I think we are completely overreacting to this. Overreacting to what? You haven't even done anything yet. I think you should send it. Send it. It is a great plan. I think we should send it anyway. He deserves to send it. You need to remain on top of this new way of appearing in the year. This is what is in our I mean, he's not going to find you. He needs you. Exactly. What? It's fucking sadly. Send it to him now. Just fucking send it now. He said send it. I don't fucking believe this. through with this. Send it. Keep it in the family, yeah? Come on. Insert. Okay. Going now. Going, 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 going. Gone. Excellent.
Leah? Yeah. Just put everything of Eddie's quickly into a box. Mark it, Eddie. All right. Hello, sir? Get me the editor. Uh, uh, the editor, yeah. Um, one moment. Hello. Hi, MJ. Uh, the chief, your father, husband is on the phone. Put him through, please. Okay. <laughs> Hello, darling. Who's this? I mean, it's me. MJ, what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Eddie. MJ's on the phone. Poor Eddie, the thing. Do you reckon that was it? Hello? Just put the, the uh, chief through to MJ. Lovely. Thanks. Okay, bye. Chief's on the line. Really? Chief's on the line. He's on the line. Right. She's coming. MJ, get home right now. What? I need Eddie. What do you mean? Find me fucking Eddie now. I need him. No, I don't. I'll see you later. Yes. Oh, getting the mix in a bit of a twist now. Uh, Leah, stop. What's she doing? Just stop. Where, where's Morph? Uh, he's waiting for you in reception. Thank you. Can I go home? Yes, go home. I think she's coming. She's got to get back in the door. She's coming out. Shopping? No, I'm not shopping. Morph? Morph? Will you come upstairs with me? Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. going, she's going. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. It's Richard. <laughs> it's Richard. You're the man, Eddie. It's him, he's calling. <laughs> Should we answer it? No. No, 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 no make it big. Yeah? <laughs> Bollocks. Let him stew. Oh, let nothing. him stew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dabes? Yeah? Now leave it for a bit. <laughs> Dabes, come with me. If Richard um, calls, don't put him through. What do I do? You let him stew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long for? We'll take away the little bit of pain. Oh, Jesus. That is life. Help me. I think I'm fine. Eddie, thank God. Hello, Richard. How are you? I'm going to call him, and I'm going to say, you choose wife or editor. You can't treat me like that. You be quiet now, OK? I'm putting him on the speaker. Are you near your screen? I am, yeah. I'm looking at it as we speak. I put it on mute. You can talk. You can talk. What am I going to do? You made him up. Remind me. If it's well, well if it's false, you tell them to print and be damned, and we'll see them in the high court. And then, um. Holy shit! And then get our lawyers to remind them you've got very, very deep pockets. <gasps> What's happened? Well, they've got a picture of me in Richard's first one. Pictures of you in the paper. And they're saying that, like, I married my father. <gasps> Such a load of crap. And if it's true? Well, if it's true, then you, uh, still tell her to print and be down to me in the high court. Oh. Look at that. Look. 
and then remind their editor that we know where the bodies are buried. Richard, are you still there? Better stop looking for the bodies.
rid of that. No. Alright. How are you, gorgeous? <laughs> Eddie, how are you doing? Eddie, most pictures are singing off the wire, man. You've got to have a look pretty Bring good. Bring him into right? the boardroom. Eddie. Seven quick decisions. That's okay, all. Just get like, rid of that. Are you? We don't know what you're going to run or how much. Eddie, I have a dozen reptiles staking out my family home in Tufnell Park. Well, you know who to call, yeah. Eddie, the independent are after you for comment. Okay, we are a fortress. Don't say anything. I don't. Eight million messages. Okay, well, just give me a minute, yeah? Okay. Morning, all. Morning. Do we, do we still have an editor? I am yes. still your editor. I'm back in what business. All right. Right. Now, listen here. I've had a chat with Richard, and uh, I've told him to stay in his penthouse. Don't open the curtains. Don't pick up the telephone. It's the least again. Don't lie or deny. Say nothing. Okay. The only statements on this story are going to come out of this room. But what? One at a time. What is it? Do we it? Come on. Did he know that he was married to his own? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come on. We all know, know he knew. No, we didn't. Oh, come did on. Did he know in the beginning? Have you not seen any of the papers over the weekend? Basically, we shagged his own daughter for twenty years. This is true. Of course. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the truth. The story is this. Okay. If you just let me speak. Did he know that he was married to his own daughter? Of course. When did he know? When did he know? He's always known. I mean. Well, when he met her, first time he shagged her, did he know she was his daughter? If I could get inside your mind, I'd give you a <laughs> fucking good clean. That's the first thing I do, of course, seeing you. <laughs> Let me just tell you the story, OK? Him and his first wife had an illegitimate child before they were married. The child was taken to America, brought up there. She came back, they got married. He inherited a huge, vast global media corporation, which you all know. Yes, yes, yes. When she grew up, out of either curiosity or guilt, he wanted to find her. He found her and I fell in love her. with her. Hang on. Yeah, he fell in love with her. Now, he didn't so. want that to happen. He fell in love with somebody who's completely inappropriate. He can't dictate what is in your well. heart. Now, <laughs> our take on this, our yeah. spin on this, is to take the, the yoke of victimhood off MJ and put it on to Richard Morton. We do this by saying... Not only has this man lost a wife whom he loved very much, he's also lost a daughter whom he loved very much indeed. This is a double tragedy. Right. Oh, and this yeah. is what we are going to focus on well, with so all you're brush past our the attention. Fact they're the same I mean, person, then. every other paper is out there trying to knock Richard. Right. They're okay. saying he's a dirty he's the on father. We're going to ignore that. Fact. No, we, we build up the sympathy <laughs> for Morton. We talk about the loss of a wife. We talk about the loss of a daughter. Double we tragedy. try, of course, to keep the two ideas apart oh, as much Felix. as possible. <laughs> but the truth about all this, we are not going to print, so it's absolutely irrelevant. Exactly. Well, what? Okay, so now, we're going to need with an O bit tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Richard sent the pictures down. I think he's given to uh -huh. you. Yes. Are we talking about a black Just banded a orbit? And the he sent some photographs, which I think you've got. Yeah. Yeah. You've got nice These are the photographs that Richard wants put out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Very well, nice one of MJ. Ooh. What are these? These are the photographs taken by Morph when her body was oh, discovered. For fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Do you reckon she's had her lips done dead? No, it's a lovely shot. It's a great shot. Really, it's a really lovely shot. Yeah. That's your front page. 
And it's very powerful, you know. It's better dead, don't you? You know, you manage to get that sort of sleep death thing. OK, great. so now we have a paper to run. Come on, who are we going to get this week? Can't see the sun no more, but that don't mean I'm chilling. My body's heating up, and all is what I'm feeling. If I don't get up out of here, I just might lose my head. And